Hi, I'm Sue Sylvanians, and I make videos about Sylvanian families, also known as Calico Critters. And today I have details of a new release in Japan, which also suggests we might see a beloved discontinued family being re-released. So this is the Dashing Dalmatian Flesh and Play set, featuring a brand new Dalmatian older brother. He comes with some fancy clothes and accessories in a smart autumnal aesthetic. Starting with the figure, he is called John. The Sylvanian family's website has his surname as Dalmatian, which does seem a little on the nose. He has black spots all over his head and over one of his eyes, and one ear is fully black. As for the clothes, John is wearing a smart shirt and trousers, which are separate pieces. The shirt has a blue damask pattern, which is lovely, and kind of puffed shoulders. I also like the gold bead detail too. The trousers are a classic herringbone fabric with a sharp seam down the trouser leg. Overall, I think he looks very classy. This is a fashion set, so he comes with other clothes too. There's a delicate pattern shirt with a collar and that has a floral ribbon tie sewn on. This dark suit jacket is nice to go over either shirt and there's a pink flower on the lapel too. There's more elsewhere too with a tartan double breasted coat with four teeny buttons and a dark brown scarf with tassels. Here, John looks wonderful with those items on and all bundled up for some cold weather. And finally, there's two pairs of shoes, one which are a black Oxford style and the others are brown brogues. I think these clothes can be mixed and matched to make fun looks, which is great as we don't usually get male fashion for Sylvanian families. I think this set is to go along with the Liberty Print Taylor set which was released earlier this year. Before the set was officially released, Sylvanian Families Japan posted this teaser image of Emil Midnight sewing some new clothes in his tailors. And here is John trying on clothes in front of the mirror. Finally, I think Emil is wearing the second pair of shoes from this set. I think these two make a great combination, as tailors shops seem to focus on dresses and more feminine clothes, and the addition of these outfits give more options. The Dashing Dalmatian set will cost 4,000 yen. It's released on the 12th of October, with pre-orders on the official Japanese online store from the 3rd of October. The set is exclusive to there and other official outlets in Japan like the parks. I do think an international release may happen eventually, though likely not for at least another year or so. I love that we are still getting older brother figures, especially as it seems the brand has been focusing on babies a lot in the last couple of years. Here's a photo of all the older brothers together, and this fun graphic has all their names too. They've also released biographies for each of these figures, and translated, John says he's a stylish guy who's a novelist. There's an ongoing promotional offer on the official Japanese website to get a postcard of these older brother figures and some stickers too. These are super cute, and again, I think it's nice to see some love towards the non-baby figures. Buying anything on the official Japanese shop between 3rd and 31st of October will get you the postcard. And if you spend over 3,000 yen, you can get one of the stickers. This campaign runs over four weeks, with different stickers available in different weeks. They all look to have images of the different older brothers. Sylvanian families previously released three Dalmatian families. These figures with black spots were called the Kenilworth family. They were first released in 2002 by Flair. And these ones, known as the Chocolate Dalmatians, have brown spots and are called the Henry Lloyd family. They only had one edition, which were released in 2009, and I see them for sale slightly less frequently than the Kenilworths, but they use the same mould. However, in Japan, there was another Dalmatian family, which used the Beagle Dogs mould. These were released slightly later, in 2013, and were released by Epoch, so have flat hands. As far as I can see, they didn't get a new name and were just called the Dalmatians. With his black spots, I'd expect John to be part of the Kenilworth family, but he doesn't look the same as either of the two existing families. Looking closely, it seems to me that they have different shaped heads. The Flair original family has more rounded heads, whereas John's is more angular, and he doesn't use the beagle mould either. To me, it seems they've used the same mould as in the Labradors for John, I think the head and ear shape look the same on these two figures. Therefore, I think it's likely that if we do get a new version of the Dalmatians, they would have this new head shape rather than the old one. I personally do prefer the more rounded heads, but it would be great to see some re-released families, especially with the 40th anniversary of Sylvanian families coming up next year. So that is everything I have for you today. 
I really like this set and will definitely be trying to buy it myself, so hopefully I can get my hands on it. I'd love to know what you think, so will you be buying this set? And do you think we'll see a re-release Dalmatian family? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching this video, and if you like Sylvanian Family's content, then subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week about everything Sylvanian, including unboxings and hauls, as well as news and announcements like this.